morning children shall we begin our class in the last class i gave you an introduction about biology do you like biology do you like the study of living things what are the living things in this world plants animals and human beings so let us start our biology class with plants plant study the first chapter in your textbook is the leaf before learning about the structure of the leaf you have to know the parts of a flowering plant you have seen different types of plants around us can you name some flowering plants neem tulasi hibiscus chrysanthemum coconut tree jack tree banana plant like that there are so many plants around us do you think all these plants are alike no these plants are differ in their size shape shape of the leaves type of flowers color of flowers smell of the flowers the fruits they produce so they are all vary in different things basically all the plants have a common structure so today let us begin with the parts of a flowering plant you might have studied this in the lower classes a flowering plant here you can see a flowering plant this is a flowering plant look at this plant here you can see the two main parts of the plant a flowering plant has two main parts one part grows under the ground and other part grows above the ground the part of the plant which grows under the ground is called the root system and the part which grows above the ground is called the shoot system look at the board here the diagram is given here you can see the part which grows downward under the ground that is the root system and here the part grows above the ground that is the shoot system when we observe the root system you can see there is a main root that grows downward that main root is called the primary root when a seed germinates the root grows first that root grows downward and form the primary root and from the primary root arise many branches like this there are many branches arising from the primary roots these are called the secondary roots then from the secondary roots root arise many branches again and finally the small hair like structure they are called the root hair so this is the root hair root hair the ultimate structure of the root or ultimate part of the root is a root hair this root hair absorb water from the soil so that is a underground part of the plant then here the parts of the plant root system and shoot system then when we observe the roots of the plant we can see there are two types of roots they are the tap root system and fibrous root system here you can see a plant there are two plants this in this plant you can see the main root that grows downward and from that many branches arise so that type of root system is called tap root system and but some grass like plants you can see there is no there is no main root the main root stops growing and then arise many fiber like roots many a large number of fiber like roots these fiber fiber like roots are called the fibrous root system this type of root system is called 
fibrous root system. Usually, the fiber-like roots or fibrous root system is found in monocot plants. Have you heard about monocot and dicot? In the seed, if there is only one cotyledon, you learned it last year, the seed leaves are called the cotyledons. Some seeds have two cotyledons. That such type of plants in their seeds germinate and form the tap root system. And the monocot plants have the fibrous root system, like a grass like plants, like this. Five, there are many fiber like roots. Next is the functions of the root. What are the functions of the root? You know, without the root, the plant cannot remain in the soil, cannot grow. So, the first and the foremost function of the root is fix the plant firmly in the soil. What is that? Fix the plant firmly in the soil. The second function is absorb water and minerals. The root absorb water from the soil. Plant need a lot of water. We are giving water or we are watering the plants in the soil. So the roots absorb water from the soil. Then the third function is conduct this water to the upper parts of the plant. And then one more function is it, in some plants the roots store the food. Can you give an example for that? Carrot, radish, turnip, beetroot. In all these, the roots store the food in it. Then one more function of the root is, the roots bind the soil particles together, thus prevent the soil erosion. If uh, you learned in the lower classes that, to prevent the soil erosion, we have to plant a lot of plants. So the roots of the plant bind the soil particles together and prevent soil erosion. So that's all about the root system. Next, the shoot system. The part of the plant which grows above the ground is called the shoot system. Here you can see a plant with flowers. So the above part, the part growing above the ground. That is called the shoot system. In this shoot system, what are the parts you can see? It has branches. So the branches, leaves, flowers, fruits. Like that there are many parts. Here you can see, the here no branch is a flowering plant. Then it also produces the fruits. So the, let us see the stem. The stem of the plant. It is the main aerial part of the plant. From the stem arise many branches and leaves. Here you can see the stem producing the leaves. See, the part of the stem from where a leaf arise is called the node. This point is the node. From the stem, the leaf arise. This is the node. Here in the diagram, you can see the node here. From the stem, the leaf arise. This point is the node. And the next leaf arise from the another node. So, uh, from one node, one leaf. From another node, another leaf. So, the space between the two nodes is called the inner node. The leafless portion between the two nodes is called the inner node. So, here one node, here another node. The leafless portion between the two nodes is called the inner node. Then, and then here, that is the node and the inner node. Then, next is the bud growing on the stem. Bud means not the flower bud. In biology, bud means the growing part. So, uh, there are two types of buds growing on a plant. They are the axillary bud and the terminal bud. Axillary bud. And the terminal bud. The bud arising from the angle of a leaf or axil of a leaf. Here you can see 
here you can see a small small bud growing that is the angle formed between the stem and the leaf here there is a bud this bud is called axillary bud this bud grows into a branch or a flower so that is the axillary bud then at the tip of the branches and the tip of the stem we can see another bud that bud is called terminal bud that grows continuously to increase the height of the plant so there are two types of bud growing on the plant on the basis of position some are some buds are on the axil of the leaf axil means the angle formed between the leaf and the stem so this is the axillary bud and here is the terminal bud terminal bud grows continuously and increase the height of the plant axillary bud grows into a flower or a leaf or a branch then functionally there are another two types of buds some buds is called vegetative bud that is that grows upwards and some flowering bud that means that is the bud that grows into a flower that you will learn later okay so now these are the parts of the flower then the flower fruit all the parts then what are the functions of the stem the stem is the main aerial part of the plant it is bears the stem branches leaves flowers fruits etc it gives support to the plant and it transport the water and minerals absorbed by the root to the upper parts of the plant and it also transport the food prepared by the leaf to the lower parts of the plant so transport water and minerals from the root to upper parts of the plant is done by the stem and the prepared food also the leaf prepare the food during the day time that prepared food also transported to the lower parts of the plant through the stem these are the functions of the stem so here is the uh, uh, parts of a flowering plant all have to draw the structure in the notebook you have learned it in the lower classes anyway you have to know the structure of the flowering plant then only you can study about the leaf and other parts the next chapter is the flower so uh, before that you have to draw the structure of a flowering plant parts of a flowering plant in your notebook and the two types of root system tap root system and fibrous root system this also you have to draw in the notebook that's all for today you can make it more clear with the help of an animation parts of a flowering plant all flowering plants have two main systems the root system and the shoot system the root system grows mainly underground and the shoot system grows above the ground shown here is the shoot system and root system of a flowering plant let us now study the parts of a root when a dicot seed germinates the radical of the seed gives rise to long deep seated root called primary root or tap root the primary root is thick and large and gets divided into branches that are known as secondary roots the secondary roots branch into tertiary roots the tip of each root is protected by a root cap every root has a cluster of very fine thread like root hairs for absorbing water and mineral salts from the soil let us now move on to learn about the shoot system of a plant shoot system forms the aerial portion of a plant it develops from the plumule and remains above the ground it consists of a main stem leaves buds branches flowers fruits and seeds let us study each of them in detail the stem is the aerial part on which buds leaves flowers 
and fruits are born. The stem forms the main axis that connects the root system with the rest of the plant. The leaves grow on the stem at definite points called nodes. They manufacture food, store food and helps in transpiration. A bud is a condensed shoot. Buds may give rise to flowers or to new shoots. Buds that grow into new shoots are called vegetative buds and buds that grow into flowers are called floral buds.